Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in the final station. We are getting ready to leave Midford here. We've got our code, so let's go ahead and punch that in. 7657, and we'll hop on the train and see where we need to take off to next. If you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, please go back and watch them. This is kind of a, a story-driven game. We are currently transporting that big red box right there between the train and that passenger car uh, to a, a, an undisclosed location for the military. While we're doing that, we've got our passengers here, as you can see, and the lady is saying, uh, why bother? I need help. Um, so let's go see what he needs. He needs health and hunger. So we will get ourselves some food here and bring this right back there. There we go. And looks like he's bleeding out. So let's see if we can get him some first aid while they continue to talk. And we will give him the first aid there. Perfect. Uh, yes, but it's a great risk for those who are already on the train. So they're talking about this injured fellow here that has the gun. Is that an explosion in the background there? I'm not sure. Uh, know what to do better than you. Are you talking about the council? Please, please say you're one of, or please don't say you're one of. I didn't survive because of the council and their instructions. So if you guys remember, the council is kind of the governmental organization that has been developing these weapons to protect us uh, from this future second visitation. And let's get this fixed. There we go. Uh, and he's bleeding again. Yep, we'll go get another first aid kit. Grab that. Nothing on our computer yet. They're still talking, and we got him fixed up. And let's um, let's go do a little crafting while they're still talking. We should be able to create, uh, looks like, some first aid kits. And then let's see if we can craft ourselves some ammo. There we go. We got quite a bit of ammo now. There we go. 21 rounds. Perfect for our little pistol. He's still bleeding out, huh? Well, we're going to let him bleed. Uh, I paid to be safe. I didn't catch all that. So I'm assuming these two are arguing. I'm guessing he's kind of like a prepper that doesn't want the council to help. And she is pro-council. Now she needs some food. Except I think we're out of food? Yeah, we're out of food. So she's going to go hungry for a little bit. Yes. Uh, one of these creatures. Let's see. What's she got going on? She's Oh, she might not make it because we don't have enough food for her. Oh, uh, well, hopefully... Oh, you have arrived. Okay, let's pull the trigger before before they can change anything or before they get hurt anymore. And let's see where we're at. Pulling into what looks like another station. Big station here. See some trains in the background. That's nice. And off the train we go. And let's see if we've delivered our passengers. Uh, was that a loot thing we can do? Um, not sure what that is. Maybe when we leave we'll have to come back and play with that. We've got this ladder here. Can we go up it? Here we go. And looks like this is going to take us to the second floor of this building. And there's some of our uh, friends here. And I found out you can punch them if you want to save some ammo, especially on these slow movers. There we go. They take about three punches to drop them. We'll loot this fellow. He is empty. Anything else? Uh, can we punch this out? Oh, we can punch the window out. Nice. All right, over here into this building, and we got a fast mover, so we'll shoot him. And let's go ahead and punch these slow guys. And two and three. Oop, he took a little more. All right, make sure we reload our gun here. And there's a chair there. Let's go ahead and grab the chair and throw that at him. Perfect. We'll loot that cabinet here. Can we loot the toilet? Oh, we can throw the toilet. Oh, very nice. All right, let's um, let's go down the ladder. Is there anyone we can? Punch this out. Nothing yet. Open this. Throw that. And we'll start punching this guy. Looks like we got an achievement. What for? I don't know. Push back. I'm assuming that's for punching or throwing. Oh, good. We got some food. Just what we need. Let's go ahead and open this. And we're going to shoot the fast guy there. And he goes down. Uh, Dear Martha, the hostel room turned out much smaller than I expected. There's literally nothing but a table and a sofa. Maybe I'll be able to spend the night at the office. P.S. My neighbor has a giant window in the bathroom and everybody can see him taking a shower. What the heck? Well, don't be looking in the window if you don't want to see that. Let's go ahead and go down this ladder here. Uh, give me my spoon back. Everyone in the hostel knows you're stealing. <laughs> Awkward. 
Another dead body and the spoon for seven bucks. Very nice. Uh, ooh, a lot of pistol ammo, some pills, and another spoon. So we do have the the guy stealing all the spoons. And ooh, this guy's in a riot shield. So it looks like we got to punch his armor off. And then there we go, shoot him in the head. Let's go ahead and loot this fridge. More spoons. It's the hostile of spoons. Nothing in here. So let's go ahead and start working our way back towards the train. Drop those guys and punch these guys out now. There we go. And reload the pistol. Looks like we're heading into some sort of garage, some sort of mechanic shop. Looks like, oh yeah, you can punch some of this stuff around. That's kind of cool. Open this. No one in there. Battery. Ah, that's what this is for. So I'm guessing this battery is going to go in that terminal we were looking at earlier. Open this. Drop this guy really quick. All right, so let's go ahead and do some punching here. Knock off his armor. Oh, I'm a horrible shot. Reload. There we go. Drop the body armor guy and then drop those two guys. Fantastic. We'll pick our battery back up. Uh-oh, why can't I pick it back? Oh, it's right here. Box there. Walk right by that. Nice little library. Um, okay, let's... Rags, two bucks. Open this. Shoot these guys. Punch, punch, punch. I wonder if I can punch this guy out. Or maybe his armor's not going to let us punch him out. Nope. Okay. Headshot. Drop him. So we'll come back to this hatch in a second. Ooh. Something going on down there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this key. Grab this chair. And drop those guys. Perfect. Code. There we go. To get out. Get that. And then let's go back here and see what's down here. Good Lord. Who are you? The what? Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Oh, okay. So we got ourselves another passenger. Once upon a time, once in the small town, there was a king. King who once upon. Saying this guy's a little bit on the crazy side, but that's it's okay. Let's go ahead and grab this battery here. And head back to our train. I'm assuming we put the battery in the terminal. Yep, okay, so that is ready to go. We got some food so we can feed our friend. Let's go ahead and 8984, 8984. There we go, the blocker is unlocked and we can hop back on the train and keep heading to the next location. We need to feed that lady right away so we don't lose her because we want to get the reward for taking her to the next station. So off we go. If you guys have been enjoying this, leave a comment down below. Oh, she died. Didn't even have a chance to feed her. Hey, buddy, any news on what's happening in the country? Sadly, I do not have any news. Um, sorry, can we loot her? Uh, but I don't watch TV. Uh, why do you have a problem with television? This guy's still bleeding out. I'm just trying to shield myself from propaganda. We have any more medicine? We could grab some medicine and heal this guy up if we need. What propaganda are you talking about? God, this guy's just bleeding out all over the place. All right, we're gonna use another medical kit. Heal this guy up. There we go. Thanks, uh, you're one of them. Sorry. You think that there was no first visitation? I didn't say that. He's starting to get hungry too. So there was a first visitation? I need to see the proof in order to believe something. So we got some conspiracy theorist type thing. Is that not logical? Um, God, he's bleeding out again, but I think he's still pretty high on health. Yeah, we're not going to do that. All right, we got to fix the red box. So let's go. Oops, we need to go up. Two, three. Right there, perfect. Okay. And on way we go. Still can't loot this lady. Let's uh, let's check in on the computer where we're going here. So no one wants to talk to us. So we just left. So Midford was where we left originally. We just left Bridgestone due to inoperable soils. It was decided to run pipeline from Bristol over the city to generate some income. Apartments in Bridgestone are among the cheapest available because of the waste being dumped close by. Vermin White engaged in attempts to resettle locals and close the city but his successor, Armand White, did not support his cause. And looks like we are heading to Neville A5. Uh, Neville's station is located at the town, formed 
around the Morgenstern plant. The plant provides the surrounding uh, with heat. Oh, we need to go ahead and arrive. Sorry, so we don't lose these guys. And yeah, let's go ahead and arrive because that guy was getting hungry and that guy looked like he was still uh, bleeding quite a bit. Into, what was it, Devil's A5 station. Can't remember if I was able to get it out before someone interrupted us or something interrupted us. But again, if you've been enjoying the final station content, please, 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 please give the video a like and leave a comment down below as we loot the empty locker. See what this paper has to say. John, looks like I forgot the blocker code at home. I'll be back soon. P.S. If the train comes from Elid, they have a long stop, so I should be able to make it. Well, that was before all this vegetation stuff started happening. Go ahead and punch these zombies out. And down they go. Uh, so like I said, comment, like, I'd really appreciate it. And if you really, really do want to, go ahead and subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs gaming channel so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. Remind Mark not to forget the code at home. Well, apparently someone didn't do their job. And we got ourselves a fast mover. I have no clue if that's its actual name, but that's the name I'm using. And punch these. Oops, I took a hit there. All right, go ahead and reload. We've got one full clip of pistol ammo left. Got a chair there we can throw if we need it. Open this, that's locked. Looks like we're going up. So we'll grab the chair and then we'll throw it at this little guy here. And down he goes. We got another chair we can use. Rags, two clips of pistol ammo, and some old books. Got all this money, but we can't spend it anywhere right now. Oh shoot, there's quite a few here. Start punching these guys. All right, no one got us, good. All right, reload that. Let's see, can we loot some food, good. Loot that, another, another spoon. Man, this game in spoons, huh? All right, um, spoon. Open that hatch. Down into this air vent. Was there a door down there? Okay, I'm guessing we'll come back that way. Up this chimney stack, open that hatch. Uh, ooh, here's another one. This one's kind of smoking. Um, ooh, it blows up. Okay, so we can't, can't do that near us. Good to know. All right, we'll open this hatch here and pop down through here. Another hatch, one, two. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to do ourselves some shooting here. All right, good. Survive that. Go ahead and open this door. Shoot the little guy. Punch his hat off, drop him there. Hopefully there's some good stuff in these lockers. Rags, clothing. There we go, pistol ammo times six. That's what I wanna see. Um, let's go back and check this way before we head down that ladder into the little bathroom. And we can get ourselves a toilet to throw. And we'll hop down this ladder here. And looks like that's some sort of war machine that fell apart or, you know, didn't survive. Uh, into, I'm assuming this is the guy's house. Dear Mark, or dear Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, we wanted to inform you that the heater sensor on your property will be changed during this week. Thank you for contacting us. Billy Croak, Heating Power Plant, Morgan Stern. All right, let's open this. We're gonna throw our toilet at that guy. Nothing to loot in here. All right, 20 bucks there. Some money out of that cabinet. Looks like we can hop back around there still. Okay, two guys up there. So what we need to do is probably go, I'd like to grab that toilet and throw it at one of them. All right, let's just go up and Okay, so we can kind of punch them from here. We're going to cheat the system a little bit. And good. All right, cigarettes and some pills so we can make more medicines. I don't know, Jane. He became so distant. He spends most of the time in the basement. Do you think he's cheating on you, Michelle? You there? Question mark, question mark. <gasps> Someone's cheating on someone. Never. All right, let's go ahead and hop back down here. Open that hatch, but we're not going down there just yet. Unless this is the end. Okay, so that's the end. And did we miss the code somewhere? I don't see any codes in there. Let's go ahead and hop down here. Looks like this is their cellar of sorts. Punch through this wall. Power up our punch. Perfect. And open that hatch. There's the code. Perfect. Grab our, our toilet weapon here. Get the code. 5868. And then head up these stairs into an art gallery of sorts. Uh, okay. Punch this wall, power up the punch, <sighs> grab our toilet, loot this guy here, got some gunpowder, another hatch, head down here, to the, the steam vent area it sounds like, 
Alright, open that. Open that. Throw that. And then punch, 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 shoot, punch. And okay, we survived that encounter. Good. Even though there was a box here we could have grabbed. Um, let's poke our head up here. Let's see if we can loot some pistol ammo. Fantastic. Nothing else. Back down the ladder. Grab this box. Next, all the drainage stuff. And into this big empty room. Oh, there's some, quite a few people over there. Okay. Oh, shoot. We're just, ah, crap, 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 crap. Ah, uh, we died. Okay, so it kept switching the boxes on us there. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. We respawn right here. That's good. So open this back up. That's embarrassing, though. Throw that. Shoot, shoot. And start punching. And drop these guys. All right, so let's go ahead and reload. We're going to go up here, loot the locker, got the med kit. Perfect. So let's grab this box. And... Ooh, nice shot. Okay. Uh, let me just... I think was it R? What was Q? All right, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit here. And we'll drop down. We're fully loaded, full health. We'll grab boxes and start throwing the boxes. And punch these guys out. And again, we died. Jeez Louise, guys. Okay, one more time. We got this. I promise I don't suck at video games that bad. Okay, grab the toilet. Up the stairs. Throw that. That was a bad shot on my part. And punch these guys out. Huh. For some reason, I was doing really good at punching people out. But now I can't, can't punch to save my life. Alright, back up here. Loot that locker. Grab the box. <laughs> All right, and then down here. So it looks like if I throw, and I hit quite a few of them this time, can I shoot down from the ladder? I can, but I don't quite got the angle. Let's see if I can punch from here. No, I can't quite punch down like I was able to punch up. Except now they're all standing right here. Um, okay, I was able to shoot him. Shoot that one. Shoot the little one. Yeah, go back over there, friend. Okay. Oh, I don't want to shoot him. I want to shoot that one. Reload. Yeah, go back there. Ah, I missed. Yeah, go back over. Okay. Punch him. Grab the box. Throw that at that. There we go. We survived. Took us a few tries, but that's okay. Made it through. Guess it built some character, if you will. We'll punch this guy out. There we go. So we got one whole clip left. And of course that box is empty. Is this a punchable wall? No. Nope. Okay, up here. And let's go ahead and open this door. Factory key. Okay, good. Nothing to loot in here. Punch this guy's helmet off. Shoot him in the head. And out we go. We got that. All right, so we got the blocker code, and we'll go ahead and hop on the train. But because I embarrassed myself quite a bit in this Neville A5 station, I think this will be a great place to end the episode. Thank you so much for coming out and watching me in the final station. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, comment on down below if you've been playing the final station or, you know, if you want to make fun of my horrible playing and say, oh, wow, you died, what, two times, three times to beat that one little section? I got pretty thick skin, so feel free to make fun of me. And again, if you've been enjoying all this content you've been watching, please uh, subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next The Final Station video.